The top priority for a page is to keep the library's materials in proper order. Learning basic shelving techniques will help you to do that. Materials should always be shelved exactly where it belongs. Approximately right is always wrong in the library. Hi, I'm Anita and I'll be teaching you basic shelving and how to look at the different labels and decide um, where they go based upon what they look like and that'll help you shelf. This is um, R with a pink stripe for romance, orange stripe for science fiction, green stripe for mystery, brown stripe for western, LT for large type, and a three on the end here, just um, regular fiction. Um, and you also have to look out for looking for new items as you're looking through the shelf. <laughs> See this one here has the new right there. And that gets shelved in another place. Uh, you'll need to keep an author's work together and alphabetized by title. That means you'll need to look at the author's last name and then the first name of the author and then the title to be able to determine where it goes um, in order. The nonfiction titles are shelved by the Dewey Decimal number shown here, and the biographies are shelved alphabetically by the name of the person the book is about. I organize the cart in some kind of order, either by genre or Dewey Decimal System, so that it will be easier to shelve. The spines of the fiction titles will be labeled with the first four letters of the author's last name and a color-coded genre sticker if required. But that's enough for now. Let's go out into the stacks and show you some basic techniques for shelving. This is not the way you're expected to shelve the books. Look at the call number. This label with the SF and orange stripe means that it should have been filed with the science fiction over there, not here in the fiction section. And this book looks new. Yes, it says new book. This one should have been filed with new books. How will anyone be able to find these items if they are filed in the wrong place? And look at the shelf. The books don't look very neat as compared to this shelf over here. As a customer, where do you think you'd like to browse for a book? So let's begin. Move your cart to a location close to where you want to shelve, but out of the way of customers. Now you'll want to take a few books with you so you don't waste steps. When you find the proper location for the book, be sure to look at the five books to the left and to the right so that you are sure you're not misplacing the book next to another misplaced book. Correctly shelve any books that are misplaced. If the whole section is out of order, there may not be time to fix it at the moment, so let your supervisor know. This is what bookends are for. Straighten up the books, but not so tight that when you take a book out, you won't be able to replace it. If the books are too loosely shelved, then a customer may pull out a book and end up putting it back in the wrong place. The spines of the books should be even with the front edge of the shelf whenever possible. Of course, if your branch has slanted display shelving, you will not be able to shelve items to the front edge. Just line them all up neatly. Since we want to merchandise the books, we may have to shift some books to the shelf above or to the shelf below, all while keeping the books in order. Merchandising involves displaying books so that a customer simply can't resist checking it out. If you follow these basic shelving techniques, you are on your way to shelving with little trouble. Ta-da! There you go. That's it. You're done.